Good morning, friends. Um, it is, my days are all thrown off. <laughs> it is Wednesday morning and I just woke up. And I always film like a weekend vlog, but so many of you asked me like, what do you eat during the day? What did your weekday look like? So I figured while Steven is gone this week, I figured if I have um, some time alone, I'd go ahead and film like what a weekday is like. And let me tell you, my friends, it starts really early. I look awake because I start the morning by splashing um, <laughs> really cold water on my face. My hair <laughs> is a disaster. But it is right now, you can see 3.49 a.m. I try three days a week to get to the gym at 5 o'clock and work out from 5 to 6. That's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I do Saturday and Sunday at 7 a.m. Um, like I said, like I'm not worried about my weight anymore, but I just want to get in the best shape that I possibly can. Um, so I'm going to show you... Uh, a little bit of my routine and today's a gym day so I have to be there by five. I'm gonna walk you through like what I do the night before to get ready because I'll tell you what we all watch those vlogs that are like it's Wednesday morning and I'm making an acai bowl and <laughs> all of that shenanigans and let's just all be really honest with each other who has time in the morning to make an acai bowl unless your job is to make an acai bowl um, now granted, I love to make them, but they aren't happening on a weekday. They happen on Saturdays and Sundays. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be real with you. This is what my morning is like. And I'm going to also show you kind of what I do, um, to make it as quick and painless as possible. I find the more prepared you are, just the easier your life is. And you're, you're all going to get a glimpse into how crazy and weird I actually am. I do do a lot of prep the night before. Not a lot of prep. It's nothing that n anyone can do it. But um, before I go to the gym, I have to have something in my stomach. So I usually do a bowl of cereal and a cup of tea. So I go ahead and set everything out the night before. Um, I pre-measure my cereal and just put a piece of saran wrap. And I use this same piece of saran wrap for like the entire week to cover my bowl of cereal before I go to bed. I'm weird. I know but um, it's already measured out. And can we just talk about this bowl? Oh, I'm so obsessed with them. I found them at Home Goods. They were $4.99, they're amazing. And then I have um, just my cup of tea ready to go and it's the Tazo Wild Sweet Orange. You guys know that is like my favorite tea. I'm trying really hard to get away from coffee and just do a lot of tea. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll have before I go work out, just so there's something in my stomach. And then when we get back, I will make a smoothie. And I literally, just to save time, pre-measure my protein powder in there. So like, all I have to do is grab the banana, grab the almond milk, and the frozen fruit out of the freezer, which I already have pre-bagged, um, and it's portion size, and like, blend it up and grab that as I head out the door. So, um, yeah, those are the things I do to save a lot of time. Let's go ahead and get this morning started. Just finished my devotions and um, have my tea to finish yet it's about 12 after 4 now so I have a good 20 25 minutes before I need to get to the gym um, I'm someone who cannot be rushed in the morning 
Um, leave a comment down below. Are you someone who can like hop out of bed, get showered, get dressed, and just hop out the door and feel like you're a human being? That's Steven. For me, I cannot be rushed. I have to take my time and ease into the day and enjoy it and do the things that make me really happy. Um, so now that I'm done with my devotions, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my books away, um, enjoy my cup of tea, watch a little bit of news, and then I'll go throw on my gym clothes and we will head off to the gym. back from the gym it was a great workout and now I'm just gonna make um, my protein shake to drink while I'm getting ready I'll end up taking it with me in the car as well I pre portion out all my frozen fruit so it's already ready to go and I'm gonna whip it up I also found like the best protein powder I'm actually gonna be sharing it in May favorites um, it's delicious it's not super expensive you can get it at Target I really like it and it's completely plant-based. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my smoothie, then start getting ready for the day. Alrighty friends, so it is time to head off to work. So um, that's what's gonna happen next. Um, my bow tie is in my bag. I'll throw it on once I get there. Um, but yeah, ugh, this hair. I have an appointment tonight at 8.15 um, with my girl Elise to get this haircut. It is so long, I'm so over it. I'm cutting it really, really short. I'm just done with it. Um, so yeah, it's time to head off to work. Just making sure everything is closed up and ready to go and Let's hit the road. And I have switched out to my Goyard St. Louis bag and I just have a Fendi Monster on it. And yeah, I'm giving this one a try. It's been up on my shelf for so long. I thought, uh, why not pull it down and give it a whirl? This thing is completely unstructured, so I do have a Samorga in it. You guys know how I love them. All right, time for work. So I got about five minutes away from the house and then realized that I forgot my lunch. P.S. I love this lunch sack. Um, it's really cute. Um, it's by the company Fluff. I'll leave it linked down below. I just really, really enjoy it. So gang, it is about 10 o'clock in the morning and because I ate breakfast so early, I always bring like a little snack with me. Um, so I got to share like legit one of my favorite things. So I recently found this sunflower butter. It is organic, it is vegan. It is called Wild Friends is the brand. It is the best nut butter I've ever had. They have some really amazing like espresso and chocolate flavors, um, almond, peanut. Um, the sunflower butter though is my favorite. And I just have a whole grain English muffin. I'm gonna have this as a morning like snack um, just to get through. I've literally already been in meetings from about seven to 10 and I'm going to have meetings from about 12 to two. So I have to have something to get through. The day. I also am on my third bottle of water, so I'm definitely going to reach my goal. This is my new swell bottle and is in this really cool tortoise print. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna go make my English muffin um, and have a little snack. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon and I have not eaten much because I've literally sat in meetings all morning long. So I'm going to show you what I brought for lunch. I usually bring like the same thing for lunch every single day. 
So I'm really weird. I always bring silverware. I cannot eat with plastic silverware. So I always bring like legit silverware. But I just packed a salad today. Um, and I have some broccoli in here. And then I had some ears of corn left over from um, our Memorial Day picnic. So I just chopped it up and threw it in here. And then my favorite dressing is Trader Joe's ginger and sesame dressing. It is the best so i just always just stick it in here into the pyrex bowl these are the best containers ever i absolutely love them then they threw in some cherry tomatoes some broccoli and i am set to go with a delicious salad for lunch and then for a little bit of crunch i have some smart pop and that is my lunch that um is what i'm eating in a day because i'm really focused on just getting in really great shape so i'm trying to eat foods that really like nourish my body um but that's kind of the routine and then tonight for dinner i really don't know what i'll do um oh simply because it's three o'clock and i'm just eating lunch now so that is what i eat in a day and it's pretty routine and it's all simple things that i can prep way ahead of time i prep all my salads on sunday so they're there for the week and just keeps it really simple really simple because let's face it nobody has time to like make full blow mills at least I don't and I know you don't so um I hope you are all having a beautiful day the next time I see you I should be getting in the car to head home but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my lunch talk to you in a little bit oh uh, so we are home I have to show you guys something Steven surprised me this weekend with this fiddle leaf fig and it is so amazing. I think we have some deliveries. Yes, we do. So, one delivery from Erin Condren. You all know that. And then I have another one from the happiness planner we will unbox those shortly but the first thing i do when i get home from work is get out of my dress clothes so i'm going to go ahead and do that now see you in a little bit <clears throat> all right gang so we have some packages to open uh, let's go Erin Condren first. Now, I ordered a planner from Erin Condren. However, I don't think it ships for like another week. But I did order a few things. We got like a little sticker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How great is this considering the message of the channel? Being kind never goes out of style. That's really cute. And then I did pick up a few things. Let's see what's in here. <clears throat> so in here is uh, the wet erase markers because the new planner I ordered needs wet erase markers. I got the little wet erase wipes. I got these erasers. I thought they were really cute. One says, oops, one says my bad. And then I did pick up a couple different dividers that I can use in the planner once they came. So I got like this wood grain and I had it personalized to say, go against the grain. And then I have this one with just my initials on. And I love like this whole pineapple theme. So that is from Erin Condren. Throw this stuff back in there. We'll look at those more and I'll do like a full review when I get the planner. And then this is Happy Planner. is in like this beautiful box. Just so you guys know, the Happiness Planner also has a um, app. So there's also an app that goes along with this. Let's go ahead and open it. Some little gold paper clips, a little happiness symbol. New Year's resolution stuff. Oh my. Some gold 
binder clips. A beautiful gold pen. It's actually very heavy. And this is the happiness planner. Oh, it is beautiful. So this is like the navy blue. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's do a quick flip through, but know that a full review of it will be coming. So it's 52 weeks. They're beautifully tabbed. And then it's like a workbook about like happiness. Oh, this is so nice. All right. So I'm going to stop there because I'm going to be doing full reviews of all the planners that I've recently purchased. So there's a review of this coming soon. All right. Um, it is now going on about 5.45. Um, just so you know, here is a small preview of my favorites. Not going to give too much away. Um, I really hate my hair. I cannot wait to get it cut. It just looks terrible. It really does look terrible. Um, so I'm going to watch some news and lay on the couch for a little bit. Go get my hair cut. And I'm not going to shoot my favorites until I get back from my haircut. Um, which is until 7.45, so got about a good two hours. It'll only take me a couple minutes to get there. But uh, you guys are getting a great glimpse of, like, what a week night is. <laughs> it's very lame. Um, all right, so I'm going to watch some news, and I will see you again in a little bit. Oh, friends, I am getting ready to film my favorite. I just got my hair cut. I love it so much. Um, but you can see, just getting set up for May favorites. So yeah, I'm going to hop off here so I can hop on my other camera and get this rocking and rolling. I cannot wait to bring them to you. So see you in a little bit. I'm just about getting ready to film <laughs> and I am pouring myself a glass of rosé. And this month I came across this rosé and it has become my new favorite. It is Eternal Paradise Côte de Provence Rosé. It is so stinking good. And not only is it delicious, look at the bottle. It is just stunning. It is going to be a May favorite. I'll probably be drinking some in the video. Uh, all right, so I wanted to hop off here, but I wanted to share this with you because you guys love for me to share my favorite wine. And this is definitely one of them. So check it out. All right, my beautiful friends. It is about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I am getting a little hungry. So another one of my go-tos for everything are these little quinoa mills. This one is spicy jalapeno and roasted red pepper. They're from the company Kitchen of Love. I absolutely love these. This whole container is 120 calories. Because I ate lunch so late, I'm just not super hungry. So this is just a perfect little go-to. I'll often eat these as like a quick snack, um, but I'm gonna eat it for my dinner tonight. And I'm eating dinner really late, but had the haircut. May Favorites is done. I'm going to start editing that before heading off to bed. It's a late night for me. I have my glass of rosé, and I'm going to leave this video, like I leave all of them, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Remember, my friends, kindness is free. Give it to everyone until